right. How does it feel to come back to Malaysia to fight? It's always an honor to come back to my back to my home. Um, yeah, another another fight week. We got an exciting card coming up, and the team team Chun Talk Warriors going to hold it down again. Um, I know where I got to be. Um, I know what I got to do to be to, to be at the top. Um, so so <clears throat> yeah. I mean, I feel like I just feel energetic and, and positive to keep fighting. <laughs> and after your last loss, I mean, it was a, it went to decision. You said it was a blessing in disguise. What did you learn from it? Um, just that. I mean, if I won, I would have been partying. I would have been uh, getting even fatter. I would have been. Uh, enjoying life maybe too much but like um so yeah it's just basically make me appreciate who who my real friends are uh who my real my, my real team or, or every every little thing it become you just realize the value of what it actually is so so um so yeah i mean obviously in regards of training i feel i feel more much smarter now um not overdoing it and uh not trying to impress everybody it's just about getting good and smart work and You've got a tough opponent next, former welterweight champion in one, well known for his strike, I think he's won 10 of his 11 victories by striking. How do you approach the fight? Will you be trying to take him down or take him on at your sort of strength? Um, I'll, the fight will start standing, so I'll definitely like to, to see where I'm at there. Um, if, if he does give me a takedown or if he does get close to the cage, I will put that pressure on him and uh, explore explore the game. I mean, it's a mixed martial arts fight and there's many levels and angles to this. He's gradually come down the weight classes during his career and he hasn't fought for three years. Do you think there are going to be factors that contribute to the fight? Yeah, so he was always a smaller welterweight, um, but not fighting for three years. I mean, I'll definitely try to use that rust against him. I'll, I'll put that pressure on him real quick and try to finish him as soon as possible. And with a victory, does that get you another step closer to challenging the belt again, do you think? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I'll be calling him out, that's for sure. What do you do to celebrate a victory in the cage? Uh, I'll celebrate it by, by calling out the champions out again. I, I only want to fight the best. I don't want to waste any more time. Um, I'm here. I've got four or five years left of my peak, so I want to fight only the best and, and get max rewards. Last time uh, you fought in Malaysia, you won. The other five fighters won. So six out of six. Are we going to see another clean sweep of five Malaysian fighters this Friday? Yeah, so that was only one out of many nine, ten events. So we've always uh, we've always had the majority wins. We've always defended our home ground. Um, so yeah, so so Malaysia should be very proud. We're gonna we're gonna put it all on the line again for the name of entertainment. So you've always been phenomenal at home, like you say. The crowd are fantastic. Is there anywhere else like you'd like to fight though in the world we haven't fought already? Uh, so one championship is a is, is a company that's based in Asia. Um, obviously, there's there's um, there's a whole another con few other continents out there. Um, however, I am a company man, so right now I am where I'm at. And I've got to ask, lastly, McGregor Mayweather, less than two weeks away. How do you see that fight going? Have, have you been following the whole lead up? Oh, TMT, it's a it's a money it's a Mayweather show. Um, Connor is, is getting the numbers in, but it's a Mayweather show. Excellent. Well, looking forward to that. I'm especially looking forward to this Friday. Good luck. Can't wait to see you in the cage. Thank you so Thank much. Cheers. Thanks for your time. Appreciate it.